Just Stop All activists smashed a chocolate cake into the face of King Charles's waxwork at Madame Tussauds this morning in the mob's 24th day of consecutive protests. Four people were arrested over the incident, bringing the total number involving Just Stop All protesters alone to almost 600 since the start of the month. Four activists were also arrested yesterday afternoon when protesters blocked traffic at the famous Abbey Road crossing, emulating the scene on the Beatles' famous album. And it looks like Europe is now taking inspiration from Britain's eco-warriors with activists from the German group Last Generation throwing mashed potato over a Monet painting. I think the solution's pretty simple now, isn't it? We just pour paint, soup and mashed potato over these social <laughs> activists whenever we see them sitting down glued to the road because they can't get away and see how they like it. I mean, these people are a re real menace now. I mean, they are literally costing us a fortune in policing. Yeah. They're costing us a fortune in, in being locked up and being processed and all of that. And they are clearly now no longer simply trying to make a point. They are just literally destroying things for the sake of it, you know, vandalising stuff for, yeah. for no good reason. And it also turns out, from a piece that was written in the Sunday Times this weekend, that they're being bankrolled by these nutty billionaires in America who have decided that they want to save the planet. And they're being paid something like a million pounds already so far by Aileen Getty, who's the great granddaughter of, of J. Paul Getty, the, the oil billionaire over in the US of A. I think they're a serious, serious and, and rather, um, I think, sinister organisation. Yes, Mike. They're not. They're not at all... Uh, accountable, <laughs> right? They're not a charity, they're not a listed charity, they are not a company, so nobody can no, look at their figures. We, can't trace we don't know who any of these people are, they're, we don't know if they're paying tax. You know, who the hell are they and why are they doing this? What's going on? To save the Earth. Absolute nutters trying to save this planet. <laughs> they're not saving the planet. Not, All no. they're doing no. is no. ruining yeah, our work. I can, I can completely understand. What are they doing to save the planet? I can completely understand all your arguments on that front. However, they are activists, and if what they are focusing on is raising awareness... I'm oh, yeah, because guessing... we never talk about climate change ever, do we? Well, we never act on it, Mike, and that's the you thing. You must be joking. We... we have got a horrible situation but... in all of Europe because of the green agendas of every single government and net zero. That's yes. why we're paying and so much money yes, for it. Yes, I understand, and net zero is under threat at the You're moment. You're saying we're doing nothing, but, And quite rightly, quite rightly, because actually we have a cost of energy problem. We don't have enough energy infrastructure in this, in this country. Mm -hmm. We need to have energy security. Yes. And these, these are middle-class children who go back to mummy and daddy who have heating Doesn't on, matter. who quite frankly actually should go and get a job. Does and I think the problem... They've got here, a job, though. Well, this that is, is their, their job because they're paid. But there, there is a much bigger thing. Have they not seen the, the, the warnings of three-hour blackouts? The fact is that we're going to have load shedding mm -hmm. from the national grid. This is a big problem. We need to actually look at what we're doing in terms of energy strategy. Fracking, the US and Canada, now has enough for 100 years to be energy self-sufficient. Yes, well, fracking isn't supported in any of the communities. That is not... True. Okay. That is simply. Well, I'm going to talk from my experience. People of Blackpool in Lancashire, if you they pay do not people, support, they will support it, it at all. We're talking about long term solutions. Buying more oil, fracking. These are short term. There's no even any, any scientific proof. How of are you going to heat people's houses over the next year? Me personally. Well, no, <laughs> how am I going to do? Uh, if you don't, if you don't actually address the problem, if you yep. don't build nuclear power stations, if you don't actually have more gas and more oil, mm -hmm. people will freeze to death. Yep, completely understand where you're coming from, but I don't think anyone from these climate activist groups are calling for that. They're asking long-term plans. We cannot just purely rely on fuel and gas and oil. Like people like yourself were saying 20, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. We're looking just short-term. We have to look far further than that. And I understand how annoying it is for these protesters to be so disruptive, but I think they have listened. And instead of doing mass sit-ins on the M25, they're just shoving a cake in Prince King Charles's waxwork, which yeah. is, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's criminal damage. Well, it's, yeah. oh, it's, well, it's, it's a bit... Well, somebody has to clean it up. I understand somebody, somebody has, has to, to clean it up. Clean it up. And well, it also JK. takes away... The police angle is an important one because we're always being told that we don't have enough police officers. Uh -huh. There are hundreds of police officers now having to go and police these people yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. And they've yeah. done 24 days in a row and well, people look, are having crimes my committed. My great-grandchildren, when they can live in, a, in an environment that is actually OK for them, I think they'll be well, OK with that. Well, you have no idea where yeah, they're well, going to be living. They might, be, they might and, be living in a when sky. You're, when, you're, when you guys keep on mentioning, saying these are middle-class kids who go back to rich members and daddies, OK, well, the Queen was pretty rich. She said... The time for words has moved to the time for action. King Charles, pretty rich, he said... Um... <laughs>
<laughs> he's, he's, he's been talking about it for years. The science is clear. The demand is simple. And like, and now, I, now I they're to, putting a cake in his face. Yes, what are they I, yes because, because it gets attention. But he's the want. biggest they environmentalist want. ever. Yeah. Maybe and he likes so it. So that's it's why I just David, don't think... David, I think David, it's such a misguided David, 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 policy. David, it may be to you, but it's gotten them attention. Well, do you know who doesn't think they're doing the right thing? Who? Keir Starmer. Keir Starmer came out today and said that they were arrogant, that they were arrogant, and he said that they were using the wrong methods and that the methods were entirely incorrect. Does he have to get you to vote for him for the next general election? Well, I've never voted for him. Okay, well, that's, that's you fine. think they're undermining their own cause. I think the public are sick and tired of them, and I think they'll actually do themselves a disservice. Somebody will get hurt. That's what I worry and about. I, you killed. know, and also these well, bozos, these no, bozos, they, well, the, the bozos well. that climbed up to the top of the Dartford Crossing, right, and said we're going to stay here until the government changes its policy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, actually, no. We're going to come down. <laughs> I mean, that's be. how committed these well, people well, are. Well, do you know what the solution they? is? Get the government to change their policies, then they can stop. No. <laughs> because we don't have a they don't have a mandate for that. Oh gosh, you know what? <laughs>